Sources tell CBS News the Biden administration is considering reviving the practice of holding migrant families with children in long-term detention facilities. It would be a change from the White House, which shut down the policy two years ago in an effort to develop a more humane immigration system. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre neither confirmed nor denied the claims during Tuesday's press briefing. Uh, no decisions have been made, but we've been very clear on how we're looking to how the president wants to move forward. And he's been clear from the start, from the beginning of his administration, by putting forth a comprehensive immigration reform. And his approach I'm joined by Nick Miroff, who covers the Department of Homeland Security for The Washington Post. Nick, what's your sense of where this is coming from? What brought on uh, even consideration of this policy, reconsideration of this policy? Yeah, thanks, John. Look, the Biden administration is really in a bind here. They've seen record numbers of people coming across the border over the past two years. The president's polling numbers on border and immigration issue are among some of his worst rated. And on May 11th, the White House is planning to end the pandemic public health emergency, which will uh, mean uh, that, they, that they lift the Title 42 border restrictions that have been in place since March 2020 and have allowed them to quickly expel most um, uh, if not many border crossers. So with that going away, they're anticipating uh, a big uh, surge that could start uh, later this spring. And what's your sense of the capacity and ability to do this? Well, first of all, let me back up for a second. What's happening with families under at the moment who are uh, under under immigration uh, the, in the immigration system when they come across the border? Yeah, so right now, if a family comes across the border, typically they, they turn themselves into U.S. border agents. That's the first step in seeking some kind of humanitarian protection in the United States. And in, in many cases, they can count on being released into the interior of the United States while they have a pending claim in U.S. immigration courts. Um, typically, the way that uh, the Biden administration has preferred to handle that is through programs called Alternatives to Detention, where they assign someone like an, uh, a GPS monitoring device, even a, a cell phone app, and they and they try to keep uh, in touch with that person through those devices. They have ended, as you as you said, uh, the practice of, of trying to hold people, trying to hold families in detention facilities while their cases are processed. And that has always been a challenge for successive administrations. It was a problem for the Trump administration. And, and there are real limits to its to its feasibility, namely, that U.S. courts have said that the government should not hold uh, minors in these facilities for more than 20 days, and that's simply not long enough for them to get an outcome in their immigration claims. Well, exactly. That's the question I was I was jumping to before having yeah. that wonderful explanation you just gave, which is, how can they pull this off without running into the problems that uh, previous administrations have run into, or just, you know, given the numbers, just in terms of space and the rest of it? You know, I, I don't know. That's a that's a big question. And they have said so little about this. They're not even confirming that they're planning to do it. If they just go back to doing what previous administrations have done, we all know that the problems that they're going to run into the the, uh, the the capacity that the government has to detain families is so much smaller than the volume of families who are who are coming across the border. Just to give your viewers an example, they the U.S. Customs and Border Protection took into custody more than 560,000 migrants last year in the 22 fiscal year who arrived as part of a family group. And, and if they reopen their largest detention facility, which is the thing that they're, that they're in discussion right now, that facility really only is gonna offer them about 1,500 beds uh, in terms of capacity. So it's just a, a much greater volume of people than they could ever possibly hope to detain, and they can't even detain them very long. So the only reason, you can really think of that they might be considering this is to send some sort of signal, to send a message, that they're going to be tough. Exactly. That signal. Thank you for making that signal point. It was going to be my next question. You took care of that nicely, Nick. Thank you very much for being with us. We really appreciate it.